The greatest side chick of all time can be found in one of the greatest literature and movie classics of all time, the book and movie Gone with the Wind. If you know Gone with the Wind, you know it's a story about the times changing and a girl changing with those times. But the most mesmerizing thing about the main character, Scarlett O'Hara, is not only that she fought for her family's estate at all costs, but that she did all of this while being the most dedicated side chick of all time. To understand this, we have to go back to analyze Scarlett's actions and emotions in Gone with the Wind. Whether it's the book or a very closely adapted film, the premise is very much the same. We have a spoiled, charming girl, Scarlett O'Hara, who has a lot of wealth and almost every man pining at her feet. Every man except Ashley Wilkes. And who is Ashley Wilkes, you may ask? Well, he's the ideal, quote-unquote, perfect gentleman from a wealthy family too, who could easily marry Scarlett. Yet, Ashley is betrothed to another, and though it seems quite unfair, and yet noble of Ashley, as it seems for family duty, later on, we come to find out that it is far from the truth. But even in all his gentlemanliness, Ashley from the very beginning leaves Scarlet hoping that he will choose her in the end, as he tells her that he does love her, but he is set to marry Melanie, and she is exactly like him. He does this in such a sweet way. So once the war begins, north and south, and Scarlet vexed at being rejected, yet kept close by Ashley, and embarrassed by Red Butler's eavesdropping, she spitefully marries Ashley's brother, hoping to make Ashley jealous and leave his wife, who's his cousin, Melanie. However, she only ends up trapping herself and lowering her market value as an eligible bachelorette. This is also where we see that Melanie welcomes Scarlet as a sister and the two of them must stay close until the men arrive from war. Melanie seeing it as having a sibling she never had and Scarlet as keeping an eye on Ashley indirectly through Melanie. Ashley asks Scarlet to look out for Melanie while he is gone and during his few visits from the battlefield He's not only confessed his feelings to Scarlet in secret, but even for a brief moment accepts a kiss on the lips from her. Even though it could be said that Scarlet threw herself on him, at the end of the day, no one will accept unwanted attention unless secretly they do desire it themselves. And Ashley not revealing Scarlet to everyone and accepting her love and help though not fully acting on it, played a huge part in Scarlet's emotional demise. He strings Scarlet along and has her become a caregiver, provider, personal taxi driver, and midwife for his wife. Scarlet is left to care for Melanie and provide food, company, and financial support for years and a little more over a decade. Scarlet literally delivered Melanie's baby with her two hands and she literally pulled Melanie and her baby for miles and weeks in the wilderness to get them to safety. I mean, Scarlet really delivered her lover's child for his wife? If that's not sadness and dedication at its peak, then I don't know what is. All the while, Scarlet doesn't hide from the viewer her dislike for Melanie and her lack of compassion for others other than a small few like her pa and Ashley. Not even her own sisters were safe from her bad ways. We even have Scarlet charm and marry her own sister's fiancé just to turn around and give half of her newfound wealth to Ashley. Ashley, who she knew would use the money and position to take care of Melanie and their child. Imagine how many side chicks in everyday life would give half of what they own to provide for their lover's family. Very few and far between, and Scarlet does all this hoping that Ashley will run away and be with her forever. She used her time, youth, strength, and her resources to keep a man that wasn't hers to begin with. But delusionally, time and again, she herself forgot that she wasn't his wife. The side chick status was so bad that everyone knew about it except the wife. Some can say Ashley never followed through all the way, but did he have to? 
Ashley openly had a side chick in his own way and used her to the fullest even though he knew he wouldn't ever be with her, yet never truly ran her away either. Isn't that the true meaning of side chick? Do all the things the wife won't do in secret with the hope and often fake promises from a man that he will or might one day choose only you? And no matter what is said by the end of the movie, when Melanie sadly passes on and Scarlett's now third husband, who is Rent Butler, declares she can finally move from Ashley's side chick to wifey, Ashley then reveals to Scarlett that he would never leave Melanie for her, even if Melanie was now gone, and that he loved Melanie. How many married men when they're finally cornered by their side chicks, finally reveal that they won't leave their wife. Some say, till the kids are grown. Some say, to keep their wealth safe from divorce. And some say, other stuff. But the truth of the matter is, when Ashley had finally ran out of excuses as to why he couldn't be with Scarlett, he finally revealed the truth. The truth that remain then and know that if a man wants you, he will. So why did Ashley wait over a decade to finally tell Scarlett the whole truth? Why did he feel the need to explain himself to Scarlett O'Hara in the end? Because he knew Scarlett was his side chick, and an excellent one at that. And I find it odd that it's only after Scarlett sees the full rejection of Ashley that she wasted years and youth on, she suddenly realizes that she loves her husband and runs to Mr. Butler. Even in those final moments between Ashley and Scarlett, you could see a small hope still holding Scarlett, and it can be seen as very shallow of Scarlett that only the full rejection of Ashley could awaken her love for her third husband, Rent Butler. It was so sad, and she had worked so hard to become the wife, but ended up becoming the greatest side chick of all time.